Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad you guys came over to see my grocery haul today. I went to Walmart in the pouring rain, let me tell you, and um, got everything I needed uh, to get me through Christmas and about the week after. So this is about a two week filler haul right now that will kind of get me through, but there was just a bunch of stuff that I needed um, for Christmas and different potluck things. I also have some household items in this haul only because there's games and things that we were going to play on Christmas Eve and I had to get stuff for it and I thought while I was at Walmart I might as well do that too. So I'll take you guys along and show you what I got. This is the overview of my table and yes that is a big bag of cotton balls in the middle. I will definitely explain. <laughs> this is actually most of my um, household stuff. I got three boxes of candy canes for a game that we're going to play. Um, a thing of shaving cream for another game that we're going to play. Um, and that's I got Vaseline for an, a game as well. Straws for a game as well. Um, some children's Tylenol because Ryan's ear was hurting and we were running low. Um, a thing of tissues because one of my bathrooms was out. Body hair and body wash for Ryan. I got some popsicle sticks for an ornament that I'm going to make with him uh, probably Friday. And some craft sticks for a game we're going to play and then I thought these would actually be good um, and we could use them in school too. I also got a pair of tweezers for another game we were going to play as well. Um, I went ahead and bought this big thing of bowls because we are going to have small group uh, next Friday. And I'm going to be making some soup, so I got some bowls. And I got this big thing of cotton balls because I have three or four games that we're going to play on Christmas Eve, all involving cotton. So if you can't figure it out by now, we're going to be doing some minute to win it kind of games as a family on Christmas Eve. So I just had to get a few things to to do that and I think it'll be really fun if you guys want to see that you can go over to my family vlog channel and I'll have that down in the description below you can click on that and see all of our Christmas Eve festivities all right I got some oil because I was out and I got um, a little baby can of diced chilies for an appetizer that I'm gonna make I got a thing of ranch dressing because I'm gonna be taking a salad to kind of a potluck and I hate not, I hate bringing like an open bottle of dressing so I always try to get a new one. Um, I got some hot dogs just to have for lunch this week. Um, some noodles, some extra white noodles for a dinner that I'm gonna make and then I got some fettuccine noodles because um, I'm gonna make a soup that requires fettuccine noodles. I also got this oyster crackers um, for when we have small group and I make this soup as well. Um, the celery is for the soup base as well. I got I got a few apples. These are golden delicious apples and I'm gonna make a snicker apple salad. And my girlfriend sent me the recipe and asked me to make it and bring it to the potluck so I needed some apples for that got a couple of these sides. I love these sides because they're quick and easy. I actually do mine in the microwave <laughs> um, because it's easier than the stove top for me. But um, everybody in my house loves this chicken rice and it's only a dollar. And then I got the other kind which is chicken and broccoli because I really like that one. I put these in salads. They're um, cranberries and pecans and I actually cut them up a little bit. And I got some roasted almonds which I cut up too. And I got some croutons, which I also cut up small in salads. I grabbed Anthony this pie. It's a southern style pecan pie. It was $5.48. It was way cheaper than me trying to make the pie. And I thought, that is fine this Christmas. <laughs> I went ahead and grabbed some whipped topping. And this is just the Great Value brand. This was only 70 cents. So I went ahead and got three, two of them I need for that Snickers salad. I thought I would get in an extra one just in case. Oh, I got some marshmallows. These are actually for some of those Minute to Win It games I was telling you guys about. Um, some lemon extract because I wanted to make some more Christmas cookies. And I will go ahead and link the video for my um, 
Italian Christmas cookies so you can you guys can see those they are the best this would be the third batch I think that I'm making this year I went ahead and grabbed this bag of beans it's just the mixed it's just the mixed 15 beans and I saw that um, you can use a ham bone and make a really good soup out of this so I went ahead and grabbed those for after we have ham on Christmas Eve uh, these are the olives that go with that other appetizer that I was telling you guys about. They're diced olives. Uh, this uh, Jello Instant Pudding, it actually goes with the Snicker salad that I was telling you about. And I'll let you know how that turns out because I've never made it before. <laughs> I got two boxes of this deluxe Cheddar Original and it looks like it's comparable to Velveeta-ish. Um, but this was only 98 cents and Velveeta is like two something and I thought for a quick lunch, a side, something, I just wanted to try it. They actually only had a few left so it must be a pretty hot commodity. I got a thing of broccoli for my salad that I'm bringing to the potluck. I also got a head of lettuce and this would be for salads during the week and for, um, cause uh, both my guys like salads that are iceberg and I also got it for taco night um, I went ahead and got some hot dog buns some hamburger buns because I had a bunch of hamburger and some Sara Lee um, honey wheat bread so and these not sure about the quality of these but the great value brand of hot dog buns and hamburger buns I want to say they were like less than a dollar for both and so that's why I saw them and thought, you know what, I'm just going to grab these and go for it. All right, over here I have my spring mix. I always get this when I bring salads places. I always just buy the big thing of spring mix. And I figured I would buy the big thing. I usually use about half of it. And I'll use the other half for salad. I got two um, grape tomatoes. One for salad and one for taco nights. These are actually my favorite ones. They're so sweet. They're called Angel Sweet. They're the best tomatoes. They're kind of on the pricier. They're about, I think they were $2.78 for each one. I got some English cucumbers because everybody talks about these. And I do like the vegetables that have this kind of air seal. Um, I've bought squash like this before and it's lasted a lot longer so I've heard other YouTubers talk about English cucumbers so I wanted to try some but that will be for our salad and then the other one will be for a snack. Carrots were for, I got a big bag for um, the salad, the soup base and just to eat because um, the guys in my house will just come and grab a carrot and eat it like Bugs Bunny. Um, my favorite cereal Special K and we were out of it and I just love that for a snack, especially at night. It's terrible for me, but I like it. I went ahead and got this little ham. It's a double glazed brown sugar ham, and I was gonna do a brown sugar anyway. This one isn't very big. I think it was only, let's see. Yeah, it was $7.93, so it's a little, it's kind of a smaller ham. Most of them were like around $10. And I found this one and I thought, okay, because there's only three people in my family. Uh, I also saw this, which I'd never seen before here. I live in South Carolina. It's a beef sirloin tip steak thin. So basically, it's like carne asada. And you can see, and I thought that would be really exciting one night because um, we like carne asada. And I just have never seen it like that. I got these boneless pork chops. I usually get the really thin ones, but these were on sale for a really good price. I know it's upside down, but $4. And then I got another pack for $4.23. And I thought that that would get us through the next two weeks. And I'll be doing a really fun pork chop video um, that will come out very soon once I make it. I went ahead and got two things of bacon. I just got this Hormel Black Label Thick Cut Bacon. I could not pick bacon for the life of me. This one was about $4.50, I want to say. I think bacon is so expensive, but. So I got that. I got some heavy whipping cream for a couple of, um, I actually need this for the soup. And then there was something else I needed it for and I couldn't remember, so I got two. 
Um, I got cream cheese for the appetizers that I'm making. Um, I got some cottage cheese for a casserole that has to do with the egg noodles I bought. Um, I bought basically a gallon of milk. These are two half gallons. I always buy organic milk because it stays good longer. See the date? Today is the 20th of December and this is good till February or Jan the end of January. Went ahead and grabbed some stovetop stuffing. Didn't know if I was gonna make it on Christmas with my ham on Christmas Eve or not, but um, I thought it'd be a good side regardless during the week. And I went ahead and bought a box of brownies. I can make those with Ryan and he would love that. The Snickers salad, I went ahead and it's called for five big Snickers. So I got these two packs of little Snickers and I'm just gonna make them that way. And then I grabbed some more powdered sugar for the cookies that I'm gonna make, the Italian Christmas cookies. And I got a big thing of orange juice because everybody in my house goes through orange juice super quick. So I'm hoping this will last a little bit longer. I also got a um, 12 pack of toilet paper and two uh, 24 packs of Coke and Diet Coke for me and Anthony that should last us quite a while. So that was it for my grocery haul. Um, like I said, I spent about $183, I want to say, um, but it also included all those household items. Oh, and I do have um, an 18 pack of eggs that's already in the refrigerator. That was my grocery haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll be putting some videos out. If there's something that I talked about that you were like, oh, I want to see what that is or how to make it, just let me know and I'll do a video. Um, I should be doing a video on the pork chops that I'm making. There's a video on the Italian cookies. And um, I'll probably do a video on the appetizers that I'm making. And probably the salad. And um, So I'll try to do a couple Christmas videos of stuff that I'm actually getting ready for this Christmas. And I just thank you guys so much for coming on over. And I will see you guys in my next brand new video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.